Hello, welcome to POV and My Therapist, the podcast where I vent, you listen, and you do not get paid. Um, today's look is giving bust down Gothiana. I it's really giving gothic era, gothic time, like very purple, very dark, very it's like nice. I should have like put some blood. It, it could have been a costume, you know what I'm saying? Like I look so good. Um but listen, there was almost no episode of POV or My Therapist today because this week has been so stressful for me, just so stressful. And like, I have just been so mentally exhausted and so, I've just been mentally exhausted, you guys. I really have been. And I was like, you know, I do I have it in me to record an episode? Actually, it wasn't even that. It was the fact that when I realized, by the time that I realized it was Wednesday and that, um... Tomorrow is Thursday and you can't necessarily record on Friday. Uh, It was just a lot for me. And I was like, oh shit, wait a minute. This week has flown by if I'm just behind. So I literally laid in bed this morning on Thursday and I was like, wait, when was the last time I skipped a week? Because it feels like forever ago that I skipped a week. And then I realized that I skipped a week two weeks ago and I was like, no. Um, and I also wasn't really sure what I was going to talk to you about, uh, talk with you guys about today, but I, I, I know that I'm talking to some degree about, um, living in your feminine. Cause I get that a lot. Like I get a lot of different messages from people asking about like being in their feminine power and all that stuff. And so I did some research and I, and I, I look some stuff up and what it looks like to be like strong in your feminine energy and what it looks like to be like kind of broken in your feminine energy. Um, and also like, I feel like that kind of came around last week. Well, actually like it's come around a lot. So I didn't actually have to do that much research, but I knew that there were things that points that I wanted to get across that were important that I take the time and make the effort to, you know, narrow down exactly what I want to say. Um, because last week I was thinking a lot about Khloe Kardashian and then I was thinking about myself and then I got some really great news this week and I was and I was just thinking about like this journey as a whole and how, you know, I and I also realized I skirted over POV or my therapist's birthday. I just skirted over it. I think I mentioned it once and then I was like, forget it. Um, and it wasn't because I wanted to forget it. It's just because I just simply forgot. Um, I've just been so overwhelmed with work. Like I consider the podcast work now and then not in a bad way, but like I, I, it's a priority. Like it is a priority. I consider all of the things I'm doing for the podcast work. So on top of like work podcasts and then work the way work that pays me. And then, you know, dealing, like I've been trying to do a lot of stuff with my Instagram. Like it's just, it's just been a lot. Like It's just been a lot. I'm not going to be like Instagramming and like podcasting is super hard, but like that shit takes a lot of mental energy. And like, I find myself like anytime I have to look at something that is pixelated, I just, my energy drains and I'm just like, oh, that went really fast. And then trying to get back in the gym again. I've been going to the gym, you guys, two solid weeks of divine in the gym. Okay. Two solid weeks of me exercising. Like you bitches, you bitches think, bitch, you, you bitches think I'm threatening now. Wait until I get some self-control and I stop eating Chick-fil-A every other day. And wait until I'm really in that gym like five days a week. Actually, right now I'm in that five, gym five days a week. But wait until I'm in the gym like six days a week. You bitches not going to know what hit you. Okay? Right now, all that's stopping me from being Rihanna is that I'm a little fat. Okay, but y'all not gonna know what hit y'all, and when y'all see what hit y'all, it's gonna be too late because you already got hit. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, but like, I'm not stressing myself out trying to be like a hot bitch. Um, and also like, it was just like, girl, like my knees was really hurting. Like my knees and my back was like, uh-huh, what is this? This is ghetto. Um, and it's it's literally because of my mattress. I'm such an old lady. I just went to reach behind my back, like uh, my bones. Um, but it's because of my mattress, but I, I'm not in the position to change my mattress right now because my house has been under construction for a year. If you remember when we were first here, that's when the guys started ripping shit up and, um, have been having to deal with that a lot. Like there's a lot of stress factors that I do not talk about on the podcast, but let me tell you that my house is one of them. So, um, but like, I, I'm not really in the space 
uh, or energy to change my mattress. So that is just something that I have to deal with at this current time. And, um, and I'm just trying to work around it. But yeah, so back in the gym, doing the thing, actually having fun with it, which is like such an important thing. Cause like one time I start having fun in the gym, girl, I'm going, I'm going like, you know, once I have the energy and I start having fun in the gym and I like, you know, I know what times to go when there's nobody there so that, you know, I can do the machines that I'm afraid of and not be embarrassed. Okay. Cause I don't know if I told y'all, I told y'all there is a lot of sexy people at my gym. It's a lot of sexy people at my gym. And I'm like, I feel embarrassed myself in front of y'all. So y'all gotta go home or something before I work out. <laughs> We're not playing that game. Or at least until I try a new machine. So in case like, you know, a weight like fall over my head or something. I'm not trying to be embarrassed in front of the man, that beautiful person that I don't I don't know their men I don't know what they are. But I love them. And yeah. So that being said, I've been working really hard on kind of getting myself back together and like rooting myself and and it's been nice. It's been so nice and I feel so happy. <laughs> Watch the next episode. I'm like, I'm so sad. No. I feel really happy. And like there are moments throughout the day that like r- things happen and you know they put me in a negative mood or I'm sad or like I feel soul crushing pain but overall I I can look at my life and say I'm happy I'm satisfied I I'm confident I believe in myself I like myself I like divine I like a lot of her I like so much of her like if I met her on the street I'd be like I want to be your friend like I can say that and genuinely mean that and the first thing wait a second should I stop and remove no I think it'll be fine Will it though? I just realized that I didn't format my card. I think I'll be fine. I should be fine. I'm going to be okay. Watch the whole episode gets deleted. It should be okay. Um, I'll fix that when it does that thing that we, I, when I have to stop. But I'm not going to do that now because I don't feel like getting up. Okay, anyways. So, um, honestly, like, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. I'm really proud of myself. The last couple weeks, I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't been going out as much. And that's because I was spending way too much motherfucking money. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to keep it 100% with you. You literally cannot leave the house without spending a couple hundred dollars. I don't like that. I don't like that. Especially when I'm looking at my budget and my budget for the rest of the year is zero dollars. And you want me to go out and I know that the air costs like at least 50 bucks to breathe. I'm not doing that. And we're just going to have to put a pause on that. So I put a pause on it a couple of weeks ago. And honestly, it's been great. Um, still spending a lot of money, but the money is going towards a good thing. The money is being invested back into myself and instead of local businesses. Okay. So um, I just found that I'm focusing a lot more on myself, getting a lot of stuff done. And it's it's made me happy. Like I'm getting so much done. And, and honestly... I have to credit my work ethic, yes, but I also have to credit my manager who honestly put a little fire into my ass and that's been really nice. It's been really nice to have somebody to like, I don't know, to think for you. It's really nice. So um, I can say that like that has helped me a lot and it's made me feel a lot more sane and it's made me feel a lot more grounded and I would like never say this to his face because like he loves being right. So um, yeah, uh, you're not going to get like a ultimate like, yeah, you're so perfect. Thank y'all. But like, you're so perfect. Thank you. Um, But that's been really nice and I feel super grateful for that. And the other day I was sitting down, I was sitting down and I was thinking about, oh, it's actually here. It's actually here. My, my 2020 vision board is here. Um, I wasn't actually thinking about that, but something happened. I got an email, got an email and I was so happy. And it was one of the things on my vision board that finally came true. And this is, this was on my 2020 vision board, 2020 vision board. And mind you for 2021, I didn't make a vision board because I was so sad. I was so sad with the way things were going and like things were just not working to my, uh, working to my taste. But that is because I like instant gratification. And I think the thing is, 
instant gratification is like instant gratification, but there's also like instant. It's just a very long, drawn out instant gratification. Just because you waited a week doesn't mean that that is not you wanting instant gratification. You wanted it to happen after a week. That's still instant gratification, girl. So I had gone six months doing this podcast. And, you know, that's a long time. People's lives change in six months. Six months, you have half baked a baby. Actually, you've two thirds of the way baked the baby. It has a head and a torso. I think the legs are still coming in. Okay, but like you, that's that's a lot of time. Okay, life changing time. But you really can't compare your journey to anybody else's. And oh my God, if this journey that has just begun, that is only a year old, has taught me anything, it's I'm gonna need a lot more patience. And that's very scary to think about because I have so much patience, okay? But it's after a year and I shit you not, like it's literally a a full year that a lot of these things are kind of coming around into the circle. I've always kind of known what I wanted, didn't know how to get there, took a lot of different avenues, felt a lot of failure, felt like a big fat loser sometimes. But I always... I could see the vision. I could see the vision. I knew what I wanted. I knew, like, I don't know how I'm going to get you, but I'm going to get you. And I tried different roads and paths and, and avoided with, oh my God, with enthusiasm, avoided being in front of the camera. And, you know, then I was like, all right, let me get in front of this damn camera. I got in front of the damn camera and things started working in my favor, right? Now... I'm six months into being in front of the camera, talking to you guys, um, having this podcast, you know, trying things and, and I'm, and it's not, I'm literally thinking in my head, like, when am I going to be Emma Chamberlain? Like, I want to be Emma. I want to be going to like Louis Vuitton to Paris. Like, when is that going to happen for me? I've been doing this for six months. Mind you, I'm comparing myself to somebody who's been doing what they're doing for years, five years at this point. So, you know, I had some stuff on my 2020 vision board and, and I really wanted it. That was a burp. And I really wanted it. And, and I worked directly to make it happen. Um, and it didn't because life is funny that way and has a tendency of not necessarily working out the way you want it to. I'm thinking like six months in, I'm supposed to be getting sponsorships, brand deals. I'm supposed to be having a team. I'm supposed to, you know, like I'm supposed to have a manager. I'm supposed to have a lot of things, supposed to have a lot of things, expecting a lot of things that maybe I hadn't earned. I believe that I earned them, but I feel they are more earned after, you know, a year of doing this, you know? So now I'm a year in and I'm like reflecting on this journey and I'm like, wow, I have a manager. I have, um, you know, like a team kind of, it's not necessarily a team, but my new distributor is so small that they have the ability to focus person on person, um, and that's super helpful. Uh, I, I'm just starting out, so that might change in a few weeks. But, um, you know, it's a new opportunity to work in a different way to see how that works out for me. A year has gone by and I finally like get one of the big things on my vision board that I've wanted for a while. Um, I'm really excited about that. And I'm really proud of myself. And like, and the thing is like, none of that would have happened if I had quit, if I had given up, like after six months, if I got so frustrated that I literally made it impossible for me to be myself on camera to like, just be a fun, relatable person on camera. There was a point where like, I was thinking so much like about the money. Cause I'm like, damn, I have this thing in front of me and I really want to fucking monetize it. I was thinking a lot about the money and that kind of made me resentful because I kind of felt like 
what are you good for if to not give me a check, girl? And I was getting like resentful and like a little ungrateful. Not even a little, very ungrateful. And then one of my friends, my now manager, he literally said to me, he was like, you need to stop thinking about that. He was like, the minute you start thinking about that shit, that's when all your shit is going to go down. And you're just never going to make anything of it because you're not you're not enjoying the creative part of it. You're not enjoying what it is at its root, which is something that is so helpful to you and to a bunch of other people. And then, you know, I saw that quote by Quincy Jones that was like, when you start thinking about money, God walks out of the room. And I was like, okay, fine. So I stopped thinking about that and I never thought about it. And, or I, I didn't think about money like at all, really. And it became a lot less frustrating and it became a lot easier to sit down every week and enjoy the conversation that I'm having with my little camera and with you guys and and knowing that like it's coming from a better place and it's not coming from like a greedy place of wanting to be monetized and all of these things and I'm super grateful for it and I'm really happy about it and it was just like at the end of last week I really looked at my week actually last weekend before like any of like the bigger news regarding my work like came to me I I was driving home from a dinner and I was like, I had a good week. I had a really great week. Um, we went to dinner. I tweeted about this, but we went to dinner and we got like a free, it was like a topless restaurant, but one of those expensive ones. And okay, why are you as a restaurant giving me a piece of meat that is literally like this big? Like, it's not even, like, the serving suggestion. Because, you know, the serving suggestion is, like, the size of your palm. No, the piece of meat was so fucking tiny. And that shit was the most expensive thing on the menu. And I was like, girl, are you fucking kidding me? I was expecting you to literally bring me, like, a rack of ribs. The thing was the size of, like, maybe four quartered quarters stacked together. Anyways, they accidentally brought us two of those and let us keep it for free brought us a free dessert and then I think we even got like free drinks I tried a Negroni it was disgusting hated it will not be trying it again it literally tastes like when you accidentally spray perfume in your mouth not great so you know like it's just been a good week like it's been a good week I'm going to New York next week my birthday is next week my birthday is next week you guys so if y'all want to donate to the POV my therapist fun hashtag divine um, my cash app is in the bio. Mm-hmm. My cash app is in the bio, but also actually don't cash at me. Um, buy my merch. Okay. <laughs> buy my merch because in the midst of having a really great week, I almost shit myself this morning because I got like three invoices at the same time. And you know, I cried a little bit and I literally had to call my mom and be like, have I made a mistake? I'm scared. I'm real scared. So, you know, buy my merch. When it comes out soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Buy the merch, please.